The Cobble Classics are finally upon us and we catch up with Dimension Data to assess what preparations they've undertaken to ensure a successful 2018. We have our game plan ready in, in November for the, for the next year. And uh, so we have 27 riders and you always put them in categories. You always try to find out um, what, do we, what our needs are. If you don't want to take any risk, then it's 11 riders capable of riding the cobbles. Then of course you fulfill um, tactical roles with the people that you have. And then you see the gaps and that's kind of like plays into the hiring process. So if we talk about you know, 70 kilometers from the finish, 60 from the finish, how can we react if uh, Gilbert has this beautiful idea on you know, going on his own 60 kilometers from the line? Personnel's been integral to Dimension Data's preparation, with big things expected from their main off-season recruit. So knowing Julian for more for four years, working with him as quick step, knowing his ambitions and his capacity, but also knowing the problem of the team there, to say, well, you already have six captains, so what are you gonna do there? You know, there are no free roles anymore left. And, and, and I think his ambitions, paired with our needs, to say, well, how good are we in knowing the course? Let's say he's like the third sport director in that race. I wanted something new, I want to race again, like also the classics, and I was looking for a new challenge, and then Dimension Data came up. For me, it was a good team because in the, in the classics, I have less, more freedom. Those races, I lived there already since I was a kid, and yeah, I know all this, the streets and all that, so I'm always training there. and. I believe I can make some results there. They need to love it, because you always come to a point like, ah, oh, this is crazy, this is too dangerous, I'm not going to die for it. Oh, we ride us down! Oh, the big crash! A huge crash! There are certain moments where it's him or me. It's not, there's no, ah, oh, we can both do it, it's him or me. And if, if, if you always touch the brakes, it's always him, and you're always, you know, not in the group. So I think it helps to, to understand the races, to, to have love for these races, to know about the history of these races. And that might take some time and some riders never get into it. And then even if they're as talented as, uh, as, as Eddie Merckx, they will not achieve anything there. With Bernie Eisel on the front. Now this uh -huh. is something we thought we might not see. And we are seeing it. Bernie Eisel with a bit of freedom, attacking the race and having a good old go. Brilliant. Former winner Bernard Eisel pushing on from the front of the peloton. Bernie just gives you always like that feeling that everything is under control, even if it's not. Um, you know, it's, it's just the tone of his voice. It's just it's, uh, a guy who did this like 15 times, 16 times, 17 times. But then also to be fair to him, his um, strength is, is, is for sure more Ruby than Flanders. So in, in, in Ruby, it's, it's clear to say, well, you know, he always gets there and he's very, very solid. He has super stable performances over the last two decades, more or less. But yeah, Bernie is just the presence of Bernie is, is, is really important already the days before to keep the guys calm, you know, to understand what's going on in the peloton because he's so, so well connected. And it's, this is all super important. It's a, it's a stressful period of the season, and, but it's definitely what brings a team together. It's like a classics team is, a, is always a team that's always united, and uh, then you have to say, we go through some, I can't say that word, but we go through some Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Tom Bonin and uh, company will be glad that they were at the front out the way. It's not just the weather, it's just, it's uh, every day, it's just stress. The classics are stressful from kilometre zero till the finish. As soon as you let it go, it's like the, your concentration, is every corner is something waiting for you, or pothole or something, and the flower pot, and we see it all the time. It's, uh, it's dangerous, but at the same time, when you finish one of the, the classics uh, in the top ten, you know what you have achieved, and it's all, it's a good relief. <laughs>